the armored arachnid, and the northeast soldier. There was an idea. The loud chatter of the officers and staff made Chief Jackson's and Lance's conversation almost impossible to hear. So, you want your own Avengers team? Lance asked the chief. Yeah, Chief Jackson says leaning back. A team that'll do what they're supposed to do when they're supposed to do it, Chief Jackson says. Lance continues to listen. We can't really trust the DODC with their past transgressions, if you catch my drift, the chief says while shrugging. Lance's eyes narrow and he nods his head. Yeah, Lance is back, maintaining eye contact with Chief Jackson. He begins to speak. So, who's gonna, he says, before the building blows up. Stay awake, Lance, I gotcha. Connor yells as he drags Lance away from the rubble of the destroyed police station. Lance's vision is blurry, but he can see EMTs and fire trucks all over the place. He looks down at his suit, which is covered in dust and rubble. What happened? He tries to say while hearing the faint sounds of ambulances and fire truck sirens. Connor shakes his head before stopping him, stopping him from talking. Connor finally stops dragging him and leaves him near medic before walking over to the bomb squad. As he walks over, he sees the wreckage of the station, smoke bellowing, and ash all over. Connor cringes and shakes his head as he walks up to the bomb squad. What happened? Is all he can stammer. Someone planted a bomb somewhere in the vents. We're currently not sure, but we believe, we believe the bomb was supposed to kill Chief Glenn Jackson. The man says, throwing his brow. Connor narrows his eyes in disbelief. Why and how did they get into the vents? Connor asks impatiently. The bomb squad man and woman look at each other and sigh. Look, all we know is that there was a bomb in the vents. It was possibly meant to kill the police chief. And of course, there's obvious casualties, the woman says. Connor retracts his visor and detaches his helmet from his SWAT armor before running his hands through his hair and sighing. Listen, Glenn has been the chief for 19 years. He helped put abomination away and helped keep the city under control when everyone came back in 2023. Now tell me, other than Emil Blonsky, who obviously didn't do this, what criminal could have this big of a problem with him? Connor asks while tilting his head. The bomb duo look at each other and shrug. Connor begins to speak again before hearing a voice. He turns around and sees Lance stumbling toward him. Connor, come over here. Lance says with a strained voice before falling on one knee. Connor runs up and kneels in front of Lance. What do you need? What's wrong? Connor asks him worriedly. Listen, meet me at my apartment at 9 tonight. I need to get your opinion on something. Lance says to Sonny as if he's on the verge of coughing. Evidence. Lance looks at the armored arachnid suit which is sitting on the table in front of him covered in dust and scratches. Lance face palms and thinks about earlier. All the cops that he couldn't save, the civilians, the casualties. Maybe Chief is right. Maybe we do, Lance says before getting interrupted by a knock on his door. He walks to the door and lets out a slight cough before opening the door. Hey man, how are you feeling? Connor says before walking in. Fine, Lance says after closing the door. Still a slight cough, but it's fine, he says. Connor sits down on the couch and looks around and before the damaged blue and gold armored metal spider suit catches his eye. The armored arachnid suit suffered this much damage? Connor asks, stunned. Lance nods silently before cutting to the chase. Okay, we have to talk about something. Lance says as he turns his head to Connor. <coughs> yeah, what's up? Connor asks. Before the bomb went off, Chief was asking me about creating a new team of heroes to help defend New York, compared to when S.H.I.E.L.D. created the Avengers. Lance explains to him. Connor nods before shifting his eyes down. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. New teams. I've got a feeling that there's a few new alliances forming, people coming together. The world is crazy, and I feel like it's only going to get crazier. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some reformed villains out there trying to create an Avengers type team or something. Connor says, and Lance narrows his eyes in thought. Lance inhales deeply and asks if, Con if Connor and asks if Connor if he agrees to form his team with him. Connor nods. Let's get down to business, Lance says. The next day in Japan, Hiro sits in a cafe enjoying a cup of mugicha while watching the news. In a chipper voice, the Japanese newswoman explains an appearance of the Moon Knight. Moon Knight Toto Yobareu Furo Tumanto Okabuta Kogeki Shaga Sakuya Igurisu De Futatabi Harken Saramashita. The woman says in a cheap, chipper voice. Hiro takes a sip of his tea before putting it back down or focuses on the TV. In other news, the newswoman begins to say in Japanese, we go to our reporter in New York City. She adds, Hiro's eyes begin to widen as he sees the wreckage of the destroyed police station. 
Citizens of New York were shaken yesterday when a bomb exploded and, injur and injuring multiple officers, civilians, and destroying the bil police building that once stood behind me. The man says in English, Nani? Hero says to himself. He quickly pulls out his phone and calls Lance. Pick up. Come on, Lance, answer me. Hero says in a low voice. Hello? Lance says in a low, and on, the, on the other end. Hey, I just heard the police station got blown up. Are you alright? Hero asks him. Lance grips the steering wheel before replying to him. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm actually on my way to the wreckage site now. I'm going to look for some clues on who planted the bomb. Lance says. That could be any crook in New York that knows some stuff about explosives. Hero says while tapping his fingers on the table. He knows Lance would find the person, but he's also gauging how difficult that'll be. Do you have any help? Hero asks him while leaning back. Actually, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Yesterday, the chief was talking to me about making, an, making up a new superhero team, like when S.H.I.E.L.D. created the Avengers all those years ago. So I thought of you, Heat Seeker, Lance says. Hero grins at what Lance is telling him. You know what? I'm in. Also, you're very lucky that you're not on speakerphone or I'd be toast. Hero says with a laugh. Lance nods and chuckles to himself. See you when he gets to New York, man. Lance says with a smile before hanging up. Lance finally pulls up at the wreckage of the police station. The area is taped off, but Lance knows he can just go under the tape. Lance walks over and lifts the tape up before crouching down and walking under it. He stands up in front of the wreckage and rubble and looks around, trying to find fragments of an explosive. He walks, stepping between piles of shrapnel and rubble, looking down for any clue. Finally, he sees what looks to be some sort of liquid that had coagulated into a dry state. Lance stops it and quickly walks over to the piece of shrapnel. He, leans, he kneels down and decides to use a tool he recently worked on with the help of Audrey, the forensic scientist that worked at the station. Okay, forensic web. Let's check this out, Lance says. He quickly shoots his web at the liquid and allows the web to collect the data. After collecting, Lance takes a sample and puts it in the bag he brought before putting out his phone. He calls Audrey and she picks up and answers in a chipper voice. Hey Lance, what's up? What do you need? She says. I'm coming over. I need you to run some diagnosis on something that I found in the wreckage of the police station.